Welcome to Factorio Based on a Book. My name is Nilaus and we are up to episode 25 and we're doing some upgrades here. I know that some people uh, find these upgrades to be super fascinating, interesting because it's just sort of taking something we have and just trying to improve it. On the other hand, some people would more like to see new stuff. And uh, well, that's the nature of this stage in the game. We are going to be upgrading and get the maximum we can out of this space here. We went from the red circuit, red belt build, and now we're working towards a blue belt build, yellow inserters, modules, beacons, that kind of thing. And then from there on, we'll sort of be restarting and, well, not restarting, we're going to use the same base, but we're going to have a completely different focus, and that will be on more on outposting and making, making it into a true mega base, which is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I know we can get it done. Uh, one thing I should mention is that there is a new website for sharing blueprints. It is uh, created by GFS of the community, a moderator in the community. So if you are part of Twitch chat, you certainly know who he is. And um, he's made this really awesome site and I have uploaded all of the blueprints to that site as well. Then, but that means you can still, you can still go to the link on my, my Needles TV link in the description below. And from there, they will just link onwards to Factorio, Factorio Bin Blueprints. So that's uh, factoriobin.com is the new site, isn't it though? Hold on, let me just check. Yeah, factoriobin.com, yes. And it does have some limitations because it's brand new, but it's pretty damn awesome and uh, it gives a good overview. So I'm gonna be using that. And uh, that means you can find the blueprints there instead of on pastebin moving forward. And with that out of the way, let's get started on today's objective. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a massive science upgrade. At least that's the intention. You can see all of this is just, this is uh, still looking the way that it did when I built it many moons ago. So this definitely needs to be upgraded. But what is the point of upgrading? I mean, what's the point of upgrading? What's the point of upgrading this part if there's no, <clears throat> I mean, why upgrade the red science, the green science, the blue science, or even the purple science, or the uh, the space science, if we don't have anything here? And why do we not have anything here? We don't have anything because we simply do not have enough up here for the low density structure. This is an absolute disgrace, and I'm going to throw it away. And there we go. That's going to be thrown away, and we're going to design something new instead. So all of this is our primary concern for upgrade. Well, actually, this one is the primary concern for upgrade, and from there on, we'll do it. I'm just going to let this one run out, and then we'll be sending our Spidertron out here to clear some spiders out here in the wild, and I don't know if that's too much, but we'll do that. And let me just... Uh, get all this out and then try to figure out what it is we actually want to design. So what I want to design is something like this, except it has to be this one. Now, I don't know if I need to make it, you know what? I think that I need to make it, um, yeah, you know, I think I need this again. I was kind of anticipating that we would now be done with these kind of things, but maybe we're not quite done with them after all. This one, load into structures there. Because the thing is, if I look at this part, I just don't have enough. I have 100 in my inventory and I have 144 in my logistics network. That's just not enough, is it? No, it is not. There, let's just remove this. So what we need to do is make a design and I will try to make it like this and then we'll try to see where that goes. If I, I'm gonna build, take you out and get you down here. So let's start by saying I'm gonna have four lanes of copper coming in. So let's just also take this out, uh, this out, this part here. Oh, that's a long way they're coming. Oops, definitely not that one. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, but this part here, oops, that's not working. There's a lot of oopses around right now. Hopefully don't pollute the belts, nearby belts. There we go. Still more stuff to be thrown out. Okay. That is also an output that doesn't work, so kill that as well. We'll have to redo all of this as well sometime. Over on this side, that's going to be the copper that we don't need. That's going to be the steel we don't need. And the plastic has got killed there. So that is already a good start. 
All right, let's see. Where could we get two lanes of this inbound? I can get them in here. So let's just start by looking at it. Here we're going to get two lanes of copper inbound. Now I need to build something that consumes two lanes of copper inbound. And yeah, this is kind of... Maybe I'll just move it up. Scoot it up two tiles. Is that a problem? Yeah, it is a problem because then it'll get into trouble with that one. So I do need to be down here. All right, all right, all right. So... Oops. Let me just see. I don't want to get in. I don't want no trouble. There, that looks good. That is feasible. The other feasibility is up here, but then I think we get too far up. Yeah. Okay. So that is unfortunately where it has to be. I'll be putting some beacons. We're going to do some design here, design work here, and these will all be getting the good modules and we're going to get that one. We'll do some design work because I actually don't have this one in my blueprint for some unknown reason. And then we go back to this one. Definitely not there. Definitely here. Yes, that one and there. So with that done, we can now figure out how much this takes. So this takes input 5.5. So we just scale up like is it 10? No, is it uh, more than 10? Uh, let me see how many. 16? 16. Yep, 16 is a good number. So if I put 16 of these, I don't know how much that is. How much is that? That's 13. Okay, get three more. There. And, and then we can see the problem of doing it like this because it's kind of taking a lot. And then I'm going to do, you know what? I'll take this one and this one and this one out and instead build it on the other side, like here. Good. That is much better. I don't know where I want to place these yet, but it should be like that one. And then it can get it over there. And then the last one should be good enough that is perfect all right so objectives <clears throat> one will just go under and merge in later then the f i'm gonna have this is well this is already a solved problem so i have outbound it's gonna be like this yep and it's gonna go merge in merge in that seems reasonable and that will be the output. And then I can take the input over on this side. There. And then I'll get one of these in here. That'll be jumping. And then I will figure out how to do from here. This will go into eight, I guess. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, this is actually like the worst possible location this one is located. Hmm, did not even see that that would be so bad. I was just so happy about it. Uh, this one could be easily switched, at least one over. Could that be switched over by one? Yep. Could this one be switched over by one? Yep. Then we do that. And that one. Input, input. These two go in here. Yeah. Okay, this is looking... Absolutely brilliant. All I need is just to figure out how to get. That is too far, but. Okay, this is looking good. Let's get it there. Two inbound, two inbound. This goes up on this side. Amazing. I love doing these kind of designs. Yeah. Sweet. Anywhere that I can put, consistently put my lights. Nope. And that's going to be the lights. Cool. Um, how much is this going to be? Let's check. 88. It gets six outbound. That's not going to cut it. I'm going to need more. So I'm going to kill that one. And then I'm going to take this whole thing. I'm going to glib it, which is... Uh, abbreviation for flipping it along the horizontal axis and the shortcut is G for clipping. And as you probably can guess, we are going to run out of everything here. Well, very soon at least. There we go. That's good. Now I have an 
output. Uh, let's deal with the input first. The input will be coming here. That's input and this one is input. And then I just need this one to be an output. I could do that one and like this. Uh, it's not quite right, is it? It's not quite right. This one will be put out on the top side. You know what, I'll just do this one. That is also a bouncer. Sweet. That one, and I get these inbound here. Do you hear the birds in the background? Oh, wow. Did, did, how did you like this one, right? How do you like this uh, design? That was super crisp and really, really quick. Just designing it on the spot. And I, all I need is just four lanes of copper going in here. Well, pretty much at least. Now, I did not lead this copper upwards because I'm consuming all of it. And on the other side, I'm not really consuming a lot. The only thing that really consumes a lot of copper on the side, if you really just look at what actually consumes copper, it's going to be a whole lot of no. There's some solar panels, but that's a static thing. It's a, well, it's a tiny bit for the so. But then it's military science that is very temporary, and then a bit for the red science. So honestly, it should be pretty much all belts upwards. Oh, it's actually very much the same as the batteries. Nice. And let's just get it inbound. We are going to go up here. And now it's time for us to build all of the crap that's needed for this one. I think I'll build one of them. And then we'll just try sort of dragging the other things along, kicking and screaming. There. How is that a thing? Oh, because I didn't do it right. Here. And that one, and that one, over by here. Yep. Continue, 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 and continue, and then go in here. Sweet. And this one. These two go here. And one has these two up here are copper, and then I have one for plastic is here. Uh, that one, plastic. And continue over to steel, which is right there. And the other ones continue all the way over to. Well, I'll take this out and then instead go from here. Should be good. And then all I need is in, 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 and then we all we do now is out. Uh, hold on, is that is that exactly the same spot? That's crazy. I didn't change anything and it just came out in the same spot. That is crazy. Look at that. How do you like this? That is a massive, massive build and it's probably going to run out here. So this one can use up to all of it, but it's probably just going to be lacking a bit here. But that is absolutely amazing. This one was consuming, what is it? 176, so that's 88 each, so that's 44 per belt. There you go, that should fix one thing. Now the next thing, this is looking good. What is our module situation? I guess it's not great. Okay, we at least have 50 of each here. Whew. Next up, this one should be easy because we're getting just that one, but you know, as many things before that, it's gonna just be killed. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to do this. I'm gonna just kill everything because all of this needs to be replaced. And I'm gonna hope I can pick up as many of this as of these as possible. Oops, all that goes out. Um, actually, can I just do that in here? Because that's much more valuable, there you go. 
this sign here and that one is in there cool this one is actually not having a storage chest so i'll just put that one here you don't know when it's being needed oh right 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 super important also that one and unfortunately we'll also have to build it on this side there so we don't have any gaps in the network let's see these are going out and this one absolutely needs to be constrained they are constrained fine all this goes away all right can i still link it on this one i definitely need to take this out so what do i need well what if we try to do something that is here this one will be the fuel it's still weird that this is made in fuel cells made in here that still feels weird that one and let's get another one of these go to the other side and what would we want to do with this we would want to make sure that if i look at oh that's not a lot yeah this one will be that one and then Now, I'm curious about the storage here. If I do this, okay, what is the ratio between these? There is a small gap here. Let me take this out and propose to you that I built these here. And that means I could do something like that one. That is going to be a beautiful little design here. That one. And then I'm going to get some power poles here and some power poles up there because I'm also going to need these two have to go in here. And then I'll do that one. And that's going to be all built. I like this. Let's have a look at this little module here. There is still a surplus of that. Hmm. Could we alleviate that by making some more modules that only affect on the inside? Yeah. We lose our ability to do lights, but we can, I, I think we'll sacrifice that. Now there's a minuscule, oh, that's perfect. That's gonna, I'm gonna call that perfect ratio. There we go, easy peasy. And oh, that's a copy. And I clip it. What? Oh yeah, I can't clip this one. Psh. Clip. Good stuff. And this one, I wrote it. That should be the same. That is actually the module. Hmm. That looks so much better than I thought. All right, cool. Take it out. And. I really want it to be linked to Albert here. Everything else is going to disappear anyway. All right, so how many do I want? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I should just say with a build like this, this is obviously not the optimal build because optimal build would require what involve optimal beacons, many more beacons. And this one is overusing the productivity modules because it has too many entities and too few beacons but it's a really nice build for what we want here and if i look at this one that one and then multiply by nine since i decided nine was the right number that gives us five per second now let's change it up per minute that means i get 302 per minute now i'm going to be using that to say we're going to be going over here and looking at our good friend the rocket launcher because ultimately what i need to build is i need to scale this one up ah uh, i kind of did it the back the wrong way around because i don't really know what the other things are going to be so i know that i have a benchmark that's called 4.9 science per second i remember that from sort of my calculations so that is my target if i look at this one like this and then is this is now 
1.5 and I, my target is 4.9. So when I get to 4.9, I am happy. And 4.9, we're gonna do some calculation. 4.9 science per second is 294 science per minute. What does that do for us? Um, each rocket launches, gives us 1,000 rockets, 1,000 science. So how often do we need to launch a rocket? We need to launch 0 0.29 rockets per second. Okay, so 0 0.29 rockets, that's our target. 0 0.29, and each rocket is equal to 714 of the rocket rocket parts plus enough to build one of these that's plus 50 of the rocket fuel there we go 221 and that's the 221 per second per minute sorry and then i multiplied back up no divided by that to there 3.69 okay so that's 3.69 and we've now built an excessive amount here because i also want something for trains <clears throat> long and short of it is it's working. There. Don't need a lot. And we now have this major, major issue that we are on running out of modules. Yep, that is what always happens. So while we're running out of modules, let's do some other things. We can still do some design, design work, but this is looking happy. Let's actually look at how happy it looks down here. This is looking so happy that this one is now catching up. Obviously, since the other ones are backlogged, this is still going to be the constraint, but at least now it produces at the rate that it's supposed to be producing at. Nothing is being sort of stolen for uh, for a module, for this production. Oh, I don't actually have a lot of logistics. I think I'd like to have a few more logistics there, because we are going to be using a lot more logistics soon enough to fill up our support train, and also when we need to go to expansions, we want to just have enough rockets to our robots enough something to get us there cool this one is working and i am just going to be looking at this one i cannot do this upgrade yet but i can do all the other upgrades so if i look at this entire thing just upgrade everything that's 3.8 i think that's pretty fair i'm pretty sure i have 3.8 oh yeah i have 9.7 okay so no problem at all i can easily do this one and just get everything upgraded that yeah, so everything is now blue. That's something. It also changes all of the, all of these to other sides. That's good. That's something we want as well. And I think that it would be most valuable to do an upgrade on this one because this is the one that is currently the slowest. So if we can upgrade this one, then well, it's probably good. There. Whoa attacks really okay so you go out there and there and there and there and there and there and then go back again just keep it going so this one will upgrade our production of yellow signs beyond the other ones so it'll keep up but what i really really want to do is get more of these hmm. i think we might have to wait until this one gets uh, completed these are producing why are these not producing they're missing red circuits? Why are they missing reds? Isn't it weird that this one gets so much more? Maybe just do that. Or maybe I do that one is dead. Doesn't matter. This is all of that one. It just doesn't feel like we're getting enough here okay but everything is coming in so that's something all oh, right by the way uh i think between sessions i upgraded all of these from blue to greens because uh they need to be greens otherwise they won't reach the end of the line here this one cannot be upgraded or will not be upgraded because that's going to be changed to a different setup it's producing i think believe it's 73 per second which is good ish but not great this is obviously overbuilt by a lot, and I really need this one inbound. Okay, so what I need to do is make sure that they get... I really don't understand why this one's getting so much more.
There we go. Nothing goes on. <laughs> Nothing goes on until this one is done. I know this is this is bad, by the way. I know, I'm keenly aware of it, but I need to make sure that this one produces. What we're going to do is that of just uh, hanging out until this one is done, and then I am going to wait for just a few of these to come along so that I can start doing some design work. And once they are done, then um, you can see they are coming in now. Once these are just having some for design work, then we can continue on this upgrade. So let's uh, let's sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee, and then we'll be back. Coffee break is over. It's time for us to continue on this design and uh, expand this one. Now, one of the things that we haven't done, oh, <laughs> still missing one. Uh, we haven't upgraded this one, which I actually think I should be doing first, right? But it's just gonna consume so much. And I think it's more valuable to get all of these upgraded at once before actually going into, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna do this one. All right, so the objective of this entire thing is, what is it? To figure out how much beacons modules we can squeeze in <clears throat> within reason in here. So within reason, without making sort of any significant changes to this, I think my answer to that is Ah, fun. There. And if I do that all the way down, which I can't do, let's see, how many do I have here? I have 14, so I take, calculate this one, and then I multiply by seven, and then we'll see. We have this 4.9, this is what I mentioned earlier. 4.9 is my target number, which gives us per minute 254. Now let's not make it basing or anything. Don't worry about it. This is still a starter base, but it's what I can what I can achieve because I have to be careful that this uh, purple science is going to use a lot of red circuits and I just simply don't have enough in there. I can't get more in this space like uh, like it's built right now. So <clears throat> that is something we are going to be doing that and that means all of this has to be removed in favor of Something. Oh, that that's interesting. Uh, you're gonna be just going there, by the way. Here, and I will get modules. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? That is fun. Because now I have a problem over here. No, I don't. That one's still fixing it. Super. And all I need is whoa. Oh, that's such a shame. Okay, I want I want to make sure that this one gets its day in. Yeah, day in the sun. And we got it. And now I can do this. Uh, actually, I didn't want to do that. But anyway, I have... Oh, okay, I still have plenty. Okay, so now this is producing. Now the next question is, what is the ratio between these two? I am underproducing these. Okay, that's interesting. So I think that what if I did... Like that. That seems like way too expensive for me. What about something like this? It doesn't really have to be good. It just has to be better. This is just, this is not using very many resources. So is this good? Still not actually, but I could just do that one. Then maybe that would be better. Yeah, that's a, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, so let's try that. And right now I'm just saving on the good modules because we need those for more important things. And then now I'm doing this part. And now there's a deficit here on electric engines. So this one will now oh, need to be upgraded. Now I don't think the upgrade like this is going to be enough to fix it. Let's see. It is, it is easily enough. So what about an upgrade like that one? Is that? Also good? No, it's not. It's a big difference between one type of module and the next. And this one definitely doesn't need to be there. This one definitely does not need to be there. That was for back in the days. And now I go back like this and see there's still a deficit. So again, I'm going to do the same. One, two, three. And then one speed module here. Now this whole thing is one unit. And there's a slight increase in everything all the way through. Obviously, I don't need that all the way through, but you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, actually, I think I need to do some recalculation manually because I need to figure out if these two can keep up and I don't know yet. 
So that needs to be done. In order for my to do this, I need 70. Sorry. All right, let's try to just do it per minute. All right, 70 per minute. And then I'm going to do that manually. So in order for this one to deliver 70 per minute, 70 per minute, then I divide it by 1.4 because that's the input. That means that is how many electric engines I need per minute. So I need 50 electric engines per minute. Irrespective of whether it's one or two assemblers, it's just how many I need per minute. And then again, I need this divided by 1.4 in order to know how many, that is how many electric engines I need. And then this is how many engines I need. And then if I divide again by 1.4, then I need this, the input for the engines. So I need, just need 25.25 per minute. Oh, it's not by one point. Oh crap. It is actually only productivity 12. Okay, try again. Try again. So I need 70 divided by 1.12, divided by 1.12, divided by 1.12. And that is how much I need in iron gear input per minute. And then I need twice as much for this. It's, it's fine. Okay. Not a problem. Also would expect that actually. Right, so that is happy and I didn't even need to use any uh, good modules. Well, a few speed modules, I think we'll make do with that. And and I will go back with that one. It's also nice to know that this is slightly overscaled so that if we once in a while need to increase here, such as for this one, which is getting towards the 1000 that I needed. Cool. So we have now upgraded our yellow signs and this is exactly what we would expect to see. We would expect to see that the yellow signs is now keeping up and it's now super interesting to figure out what is not keeping up. And that is not surprisingly, the actual module production. Well, that is actually kind of surprising. So let's, uh, let's try to get that sorted. That's definitely sorting that. And if I just look at this ratio, then we can see how much it's consuming per minute. And this is actually terrifying. It's not even consuming enough like this. Isn't that kind of weird that I'm not even consuming enough? So I'm gonna cut this out and just get a few more in. I don't want it to get a third line, so I'd rather have this one. Let me get those four and then try to stamp that down there. Like that. And I will now realize that, yes, that's also what I realize here. There we go. I do not have these. Nope, I don't have 12 of those. Oh, that's going to be annoying to bake, bake, make. I will do that right somewhere. I wouldn't say that this is a necessary build or anything like that, but now I'm just building it. This one will be gears. And then it will be put into here. Into that one, which will then be using that one inbound. And then gears here. And then we need to get something outbound. This one will be constrained by these less than, I don't know, 10, don't care. There you go. So now I build it in a more structured way. It doesn't look good, but it gets the job done. And they will be going up here, looking good. They are already flying in. It'll take a bit of time to work on it, but uh, they will get that done. And well, I might have overdone this, but I also might not have. Let's see. There, everything is now done. And then should keep, go up to 294. This is enough. Ah, uh, man. I'm wondering if that was it would have been enough as well. 298. Ah, oh, man. I oh, know. You know what? I need this because sometimes it's going to be stalling. And then I want, I want to make sure that we can actually consume the stuff that is on the belts. 
yes. So this is a quite a bit of an improvement. This one's working. And we now have everything should be being consumed. What I'm going to continue on next time, because this is definitely a two part thing for the science upgrade. I'm going to go through every single one of these sciences, but I'm also going to go through this one. I might just leave a bit of time to just have it stockpile a lot more of the productivity modules. Actually, this is getting okay. Well, it's up to 100 by now, but 100 is probably what I need for, I don't know, the next one. So what I need to do is I need to build to upgrade the purple science, the blue science, the green science, the military science, and the rocket control units. Once all those are upgraded, then the base is actually upgraded to the level where we want. And from there on, we're gonna be starting looking at outposting or preparation for outposting. That is artillery train, and it is a builder train. So those are the next things. And once we're done with that, I would call that base basically completed, and we can start doing outposting, which will be the next grand stage of this, uh, this endeavor. We're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying these upgrade episodes because we are, I think it's very enjoyable to do these kind of things, just rebuilding or tweaking and that kind of thing. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. I hope until then, take care. And remember, stay effective.